hello hi everyone welcome back in this particular video i will show you how you can create a team management or we call it as a staffing if you are running an agency or you are running a coaching or consulting and if you are running any organization as a founder ceo or a business owner or as an entrepreneur you might be having a staff right so how do you manage that staff in digital autopilot system i will be walking you through with that so first you need to go to settings then go to my staff okay once you come here they, you will be able to get this team management once you come here then you need to click on this add employee so once you come here you can able to add an employee from here so uh, you can assign this as so so just the, just uh, just for a demo okay so i will give it a name here so test Okay, the phone number, password. Okay, you have to assign a password. So uh, I will, I will give it a password. Okay, the password would be something which is need to be capitals and eight letters. So it should be a stronger, and you can also enable the, uh, the thing just like this so uh, you just need to follow this. Okay, and you will get to know. You can also add an. Um, uh, picture here if you wanted to add a picture of. Um, uh, for an example i will just keep this as a picture okay youtube so i will just save it or uh, i will show you some of the permission here in the details and the user permission how it is going to work so once you create a team member as you can see here there is a team member here so this is the team member being assigned but we will come to this first thing is this or oh, you need to uh, create that after that you need to create a user permission so now you have so many options out here so this is really critical if if you are having a staff please uh, make sure how it has been aligned to your business how it works for your business you need to enable this this features here okay the first thing what it say is a dashboard stat it will ask you do you want to allow your customer agent or a sales executives or might be having any staff okay in uh, what i do here in the coaching and consulting industries i will be showing you but it should be going aligned with your business okay what you want to enable it so now in a dashboard stat as you can see uh, this is enabled right now i'll put this as a checkbox that is enabled so that enabling this can help to see uh, the sales executive or a customer point of view they can able to see the dashboard stat will they able to uh, do any modification or enabling this to the campaign definitely no i will say no because uh, the campaigns they don't have an access because i do myself as a campaign you can also assign it because of a customer executive or sales representative they should not modify any campaigns so for that reason i will turn it off it depends upon your business it depends upon what you want to keep it if you want to keep it as a read only and enabled it you can also do that so i will keep it off for my business and once the campaign is off there is no meaning in uh, triggering or uh, like trigger event should be on so they cannot do anything so i will keep it off so opportunities so will my customer executive or sale executive can see an opportunity yes they can see an opportunity okay so they can see the opportunity what's going on what is the line of pipeline opportunity so once you assign it you can give it then the next thing is a contacts will my sales executive can see my uh, see my contacts so definitely no i will say no to them it depends upon your trust depends upon your staff or staffing uh, like they don't want to see your data then you can you can turn it off if they want to see your data if you trust them then you can uh, put it on because sometimes i will put it on sometimes i will put it off so i trust my staffing so you can uh, because they are they are really close to me and uh, we work together so i can put it on if they you think that it should not be turned on turn it off online listening turn off and settings 
no uh, definitely you know because they cannot if a sales executives they you they should not modify any settings so everything will be spoiled okay whatever design you had made for an automation that may go on toss so you need to make sure that settings should be off then uh this uh, uh they can able to see the tags and all yes you can if you can enable it enable it they can see the marketing they can do it so i think this is not important for them because i am doing everything for them like they just need to see their sales executive customer executives they can able to see uh like workflows and all i will just keep it as off okay so i will keep everything off only the opportunity and dashboard stat right now i will look at uh attribution reporting they cannot see i am running a facebook ads the reporting and all they don't need it okay website editing or website designing if they want to edit it no i am not giving a permission for them lead value they don't want to check my lead value i can assign it if you want it so it depends upon what business you are in you need to enable it okay so membership access no we are not giving a membership access the review conversions yeah the best part here is the only assigned data what do you mean by this is really really important uh give it a focus on this only assigned data what do you mean by this is right now it is turned off okay only assigned data so now if i turn off what going to happen is only they the people can able to see all the details here if it is been turned off okay so if i turn on what going to happen what features been enabled i want to show you here please be aware that enabling this option will be visible visibly remove things like contacts opportunity and conversion uh conversation from your dashboard if they were not assigned to your user so if i enable it i can enable them a data as i can i want it okay so i can assign a data what they want to see this is really great feature okay look into it how this is going to work okay if i create this for this particular user i will assign a data to the particular particular database okay enabling this they can uh, they will um, they will be removed from this uh, all data they can see all the data which will be removed from by enabling this so i will keep it as enable then i will say review is not required the funnel conversions the conversation what is happening with my clients no i don't want to uh, i want to Uh, if you want to assign it you can assign it what conversation happening if they want to have a tickets or support tickets if you want um, like they troubleshoot any issues they you can put it on so in this way where you can turn it off turn it off but the main thing here is uh, only assign a data to the particular client okay for the particular database you can assign it from here so all these things are a uh, user permission for the particular permission for this particular user okay for some yes so um now you understand how this works now we will go to the user role is it a admin or user role i will create as a user then voicemail setting keep it as a default one you don't have to do anything here you can also set in calendar custom meeting calendars connect with the zoom and all you can do that so now i will keep it as it is then i will go with the user calendar configuration i will keep it as a uh, simple and just save it so what going to happen right now we will see we have created a new user right now so if in our dashboard what you can see what we can see in this particular dashboard with this email address we will look at right now okay so let's see we will just log out and log in again okay now what we will do here is we will just go here put the email address and put the password and just want to sign it now it will send a code to my email address okay now i will confirm the code and see uh, once i go inside i will show you how the dashboard looks it would be new dashboard okay and uh, you can able to see all the new features what has been assigned to the particular so as you can see there is a logo reflecting here so and you can see there is no much features out here 
right only they can see the conversions they can see calendars opportunities okay and they we have assigned it as an opportunity so they can see how many uh, opportunities are there how many calendars are there Conv uh, conversation conversation happening they can able to see the dashboard right they can also have a reportings if they want to see the reporting market kit is something which is default but as you can see the settings they cannot do much settings out here and there is no settings as such only the integration so uh, in this way where you can minimize your staffing um, like access to them so that they can go through with this only they can able to see how many a uh, conversation happening and all so this is how powerful this system is right so in this way where you can create your staffing you can create um, like sales executive look at the permission what you want to give it to them so look how how it is going to work so this is really powerful okay so in this way where you can uh, create as many as um, staffing okay you can create unlimited staffing here so if you find any problems comment me below in the comment section what problem you are facing i will definitely going to help you in addressing your problem so i see you in the next videos how how you use this staffing okay let me know in the comment section so if you have any problem related to the services please reach to me i will happy to help you thank you very much see you in the next video